Hello and welcome, my name is Elijah. Here we are with our brand new Let's Play of a classic uh, classic Game Boy Color game. This is Pokemon Gold version. And if you're anything like me, you probably spent a lot of time playing the Pokemon series when you were younger, or when you were a kid. I probably logged over 400 hours on this game originally, back uh, when I first got it. Um, I actually finished the game. I uh, got through the entire storyline and beat the end of the game. Um, I never collected all the Pokemon though, so you know that's not going to be our main focus of this Let's Play. I don't want to. I don't want to go crazy and collect all the Pokemon because that would just that would take hundreds of episodes. We're not going to do that. We're just going to play through the story and maybe 15 to 20 minutes per episode. You know, we'll see how things go um, and. The more support and encouragement I get from you guys, the more I will continue to make episodes. So, um, you let me know, okay? This game was made back in 2000, so it's pretty old. Um, we're going to start a brand new game. 15 years old already this game is. Back when I was 8 years old. First came out. <coughs> what? Ugh, you woke me up. Oh, you checked the clock for me. What time is it? It is, okay, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. What? More than 8 o'clock? Yes, more than 8 o'clock. How many minutes? Okay, um, it is 5 minutes after the hour. Okay, whoa, 5 minutes. More than 8.05, I overslept. I should say so, you slept till morn. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. The Pokemon Prof. You know what? I didn't even know that that was Professor until years after I first started playing this game. Kind of embarrassing, but yeah. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. No, there are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Okay, what is my name? Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's go with Elijah, shall we? You know, the very first time I played this game, um, I accidentally made my name A. Yeah, just an A, and I clicked done, and I never went back to change it, I guess I didn't realize, and I was stuck with the name A um, until my sister accidentally overrode the game, and I had to start all over again. But yeah, I was called A for a very, very long time. Elijah, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Ooh, creepy. Okay, here we are in my town in New Bark, New Brook. Uh, I think it's New Bark Town. Here we are in my room in my house in New Bark Town. I have my wonderful bed that I can't actually lay on, and I have my I have my table that has no stuffed animals on it yet, but soon it'll be totally filled with useless things that my mom buys with the money I send her when she goes shopping. Yes, let's see what's on the PC. Elijah turned on the PC, withdraw, deposit, toss, mail, mox, decorate, what's decoration? Poster, uh, bed, feathery bed, let's see. That's already set up. Oh, okay, so I have a feathery bed. Wonderful. How about the poster? Oh, town map. Okay. Um, that's that's very good. We'll leave it at that. Okay, turn off. Let's see what's on the radio. Prof Oak's Pokemon Talk. Please tune in next time. Okay. Pokemon Channel. This is DJ Mary, your co-host. Pokemon Channel. Okay. What's on TV? It's a TV. Yes, it is. A whole collection of Pokemon picture books. Because I can't read. Because in the Pokemon universe, you don't learn to read until you're 22 years old. What do we have here? It's the town map. We have Cherry Grove, Violet City, 
Ruins of Alf, Union Cave, Azalea Town. You know what? When I was little, I could never pronounce the names of these. Goldenrod, I knew that one. But, like, uh, let's see. Ecrutic City, I couldn't pronounce that. Um, Holobine. You know, I used to never be able to pronounce that, but now... Oh, like this one here? Cyanwood. I never knew how to say that. Kyan... Kyanwood. No, it's Cyanwood. Yes. The adult me knows. I'm smart now. Mahogany. Okay. Um, that's enough of that. We'll visit all those towns eventually. Let's go downstairs and be berated by our mother. Hello. How are you? No good morning? Oh, Elijah. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted to, 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 uh, he wanted you to do something for him. Of course he did. Everyone on video games wants you to do something for them. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. It was broken. Here you go. Elijah received Poke gear. Pokemon gear, or just Poke gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh. The day of the week isn't set yet. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Okay. I believe everyone in this town is an idiot. She doesn't know what day of the week it is. And Prof Elm didn't know what time it was. Okay. It is Wednesday. Wednesday is it? Yes, it is Wednesday. Is it daylight savings time now? Yes, it is. 8.09 a.m. DST. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Come here to adjust your clock for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes, I do. Don't you just turn the poker gear on and select the phone icon? Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Yes, it is convenient how you manage to just totally ignore what I said that yes, I know how to use it, you old woman. And you decided to tell me anyway. All right, let's see what's on TV. There's a movie on TV. Stars dot the skies. Two boys ride on a train. I better get rolling, too. You know what? I think my mother's a horrible person. You know why? Here I am. An 11-year-old. We'll just presume I'm 11. It doesn't actually say, but probably somewhere around there. 10, 11 years old. And she allows me to go off on my own. All the way across the country, basically. I can go to all these different towns. I can go into any stranger's house, talk to anybody. I even go and bet in the casino. And she's okay with that. Not only is she okay with it, she accepts the money that I send home and stores it up for herself and then spends it without my permission on things I don't need, like like Pokemon dolls and potions and stupid things like that that I won't actually ever even use. And I don't think she actually cooks anything. I think she just sits there all day um, and doesn't actually do anything. Like. Let's check the refrigerator. See what's in the fridge. Fresh water and tasty lemonade. That's it. We are poor. We are starving. We have water and lemonade. Good job, mother. Good job. The sink is spotless. Mom likes it clean. That's because she never makes anything, so it never gets dirty. Let's see what's on the stove. Anything. Mom's speciality. Okay, she does cook. Whatever. Cyan Cinnabar. Cinnabar Volcano Burger. That sounds disgusting. So, she still is a horrible person. Mother, I'm leaving you. I'm going away. I've had enough of you. Prof Elm is waiting for you. Hurry up, baby. All she buys me is picture books. Because I can't read. She never taught me to read. My mother. Yes, she was a horrible person. And now I get to leave. And never come back. What do you have to say, fatso? Yo, Elijah! I hear Prof Elm discovered some new Pokémon. Really, you say? Isn't that his job? Newbark Town. The town where the winds of a new beginning blow. Yes, they do blow, don't they? Wow, your Pokégear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? Yes, she did. What's in here? What? Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Prof Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. <laughs> I wish I could be a researcher someday like him. 
Okay, sounds like somebody has a little bit of a crush on somebody else. Yes. What do you have to say, young lady? How's your your poke gear is impressive? Did your mom get it for you? Did your mom get it for you, you little boy? Why does everyone think I'm such a little kid? Well, maybe because I can't read yet. What's in here? Elm's house. Okay. So this is the prof's house. This must be his lovely wife. Hello. Hi, Elijah. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. My, my, that does sound problematic. Who are you? When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. I doubt that very much. What do we have over here? <clears throat> it's full of difficult books. Not books with pictures, but books that I can't understand. I'm too dumb. Boop -a -dee -boop. Pokemon, where do they come from? Where are they going? Why has no one ever witnessed a Pokemon birth? I want to know. I will dedicate my life to find this to the study of Pokemon. It's a part of Prof Elm's research papers. Very good. It's a TV that is not turned on apparently in this smart, smart household where they have books that I can't even understand. Time to get out of here. All right, I think we looked at everything in this town. Let's head into the Pokemon Lab. Elms, whoa, wait, 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 who's this over here? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab, apparently. What are you staring at? Whoa, excuse you. All right. So here we are. Elijah, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. Of course you did, because you are a video game character, and all you do is ask other people to do your bidding. I have an acquaintance called Mur Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Weird things, okay. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Ooh, he discovered something real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. We are much much too important to go check out on something that seems like interesting. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. We just, we just found them. They're rare. Go on, pick one. Alright. Let's see what happens if we try to leave. Wait, where are you going? You need to pick a Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the spiky one. Elm, you'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. No. Think it over carefully, because you know what? Once you pick one, <laughs> I won't let you switch for anything. There, the alligator Pokemon. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No. No, no, no. Your partner is important. Yes, it is. And the the only girl Pokemon that has uh, a leaf coming out of its head. So, you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? Oops! I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Elijah received Chikorita, and I did not mean to click that. Give a nickname to the Chikorita you received. Okay. Um... Okay, I did not mean to push that. I was going to choose a different one. But you know what? Who cares? Um, what's a good nickname? Uh, how about Rita? That just seems obvious. Too obvious, actually. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That far too obvious. You know what? That'll have to work. Rita. Mur Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Elijah got Elm's phone number. Well, you know what? I 
I really did not mean to select that Pokemon, but um, I guess it's a good thing I've never actually played the game with Chikorita. Not that I know of, so this will be a new experience for me. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Elijah, I want you to have this for your errand. Elijah received potion. Ooh, a potion. So useful. Elijah put the potion in the item pocket. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah, you look very busy. Just standing there and everything. Yeah, looks like there's a lot of standing around to do, so I better get out of here and leave you guys to it. Alright, I think that's everything in this town. We're gonna... Next time, we're gonna take our Chikorita and continue on to uh, the next city over. And uh, we're gonna save the game. There's another save file. Is it okay to overwrite? Yes, of course it is. Saving, don't turn off the power. Well, I just saved the game. All right, so next time we're gonna head over to Cherry Grove to see what's in store for us. We're gonna uh, go explore in the grass with all the murderous Pokemon and hope that our Rita can stand up to all of the, uh, the attacks thrown at her, even though she's made out of grass. So yeah, it doesn't sound very promising, but we'll see what we can do in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.